Now there's a heavy presence, a police presence, on Rabi Ridge after private security earlier opened fire at land invaders. Community members have burnt tires and protested throughout the night. Yesterday, they tried to erect shacks on privately owned land. Armed security and police were called in to try and disperse the crowd. Let's get an update now from our senior reporter, Avi Wemtila, who's at the scene. Avi, I spoke to you a little bit earlier on. It seemed uh, a little bit calmer then, but um, we're hearing it's not so calm at the present moment. What's the scenario like? Well, things are heating up here in Republic Road in Rabi Ridge where uh, just some five minutes ago the private security fired shots um, towards the community here. In fact, the South African Police Service had to intervene with two police officials standing in between um, the community itself and the private security, telling the private security to stop firing those rubber bullets uh, at the community. They're standing off at some uh, 100 meters away, but I just want to get word from the community uh, to find out um, their sentiments at this stage. I see there's a gentleman here who seems to be winning. What's happening here? Uh, as you can see, one of, the, uh, one of our members has, has got a badly injured here by rubber bullets. Here's the proof, you see. As you can see that this uh, unknown security company is shooting p p people with uh, illegal, 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 illegal uh, bullets that the uh, government has already sus uh, suspended in, the, in their department so that people can stop uh, uh, shooting people with rubber bullets because they know the danger of this uh, of these bullets and this and this uh, and, and these members are not highly trained to what, shoot what, what was happening before they shot they shot at the community because i see the community was some hundred meters away from the private security Yes, exactly. They were too far with those people. They were just interviewing people that side. So when well, those private, they just start to shoot to hear the noise from that side. So when well, you see the distance from those people, they are, they are just provoking us, those people. So well, this is unfair because one of our members here is already, is already on pain. What's going to happen if something is like this? I'm going to get different voices in here to understand the situation. Those people, they want to come and join us this side. So we want those people to come this side. Yes. What are we just going to move further this side to understand what's happening near the South African police services car. The police themselves, I must mention, Tony, had to intervene in the shootout that we saw some five minutes ago. The private security company firing at the Rubber Ridge community, which was standing some hundred meters. And at that stage, from where I could see, uh, there was no provocation uh, of that incident. And they, in fact, were not even on the land. They were standing at uh, Republic Road. I want to get an idea of what's happening here. What are the police telling you here? They don't say anything because people want to know why that they are allowing these people to shoot our, our, our guys here. On top of that, they, those guys they are, they are foreigners. They can't they can't just come here and do whatever they want with our our, our uh, country people here. And I say we're not sure who uh, the personnel are there before we um, send off uh, mixed messages. I'm not sure if you can get a comment from the police at this stage. Um, it seems they're reluctant, but we understand, is it allowed for them to shoot at the community? Because we saw some police come forward. Um, I'm not sure we'll, we'll get a comment at this stage, but uh, that's the situation here. Uh, it seems things, Tony, will heat up as the community are still uh, standing on the public road, which has been closed off at this moment in Rabi Ridge. Heavy police um, presence here and also the security uh, just around. You see uh, the South African Police Service has now been joined by the Johannesburg Metro Police uh, as well with a few police vans, police nyala, and more police vans from the JMPD behind. The security is standing on the land. That's the bone of contention at this moment. Uh, the private security, remember the owner telling us uh, that they will not allow any Rubber Ridge community members to be on the land. Um, they're saying that they, they, they will use force, essentially, should that happen. Even a security officer um, that we spoke to at, at earlier intercation where they were firing at the community told us that uh, this thing will most likely happen the whole day. So, Avue, do we know who's actually deployed the, the, the private security? Uh, obviously, it must be the owner. And any word from the owner at all this morning with all of this happening? The owner is a bit reluctant to speak to us at this moment, but we do understand they are from the uh, South African uh, Housing and Infrastructure Fund. 
they say they bought this property some six months ago and in fact now um, they they're looking to get a list from the community members take that list to government and then thereafter build RDP houses from the people but the people uh, are saying the community members that they've heard this before time and again hence they now forcefully wanting to erect the shacks here they say that the land that um, is on our right where the security officials are has been laying um, un, un, uh, unattended to uh, for decades on end from 1996 they tell me uh, and in fact it's an area where a lot of crime has been happening from this uh, kilometer stretch of road uh, la of land a lot of crime has been happening a lot of people have been um, raped they tell us murders have been happening so they're saying they'd rather erect shacks here and then thereafter once they see there's progress uh, in terms of the um, RDP houses being built then thereafter they'll they'll then uh, back off with those shacks but at the moment they're adamant that they're not going anywhere while the private security as well is quite adamant that it's not going anywhere we've seen SAPS uh, and now being backed up by JMPD that we see coming through as well now all right, Avi Wimtil, our senior reporter there at uh, Rugby Ridge in Johannesburg reporting for us. So it seems like it's a standoff uh, taking place there. On the one side, you've got the uh, South African police and you've got the security on the land, that privately owned land. We'll, uh, he'll give us an update a little bit later on. Now, it's 